Welcome to the Greg Coates Show. I'm your host, Greg Coates, and today we're going to talk about what are the five signs we are living in the last days. Truly, God is amazing, and he's trying to wake us up because something is happening, and we need to be prepared of what's going on. Five signs to know we're living in the last days. Without further ado, let's get into them pretty quickly. The first sign is natural disasters. I believe Matthew 24 verses 7 and 8 talks about natural disasters. Earthquakes in diverse places, tornadoes, tsunamis, everything that's happening right before our eyes. We got to get ready for God's appearing. Jesus Christ is coming. The second one I want to talk about is the rapid knowledge of increase. Man, since I was a kid, I have never seen knowledge so increased, such as computers and software, everything. I'll never dream that I can talk on the phone and see a person live in video. So knowledge has definitely increased and it's beautiful at the same time, but we know that we're living in the last days and the scripture talks about this. Um, I believe it's in Daniel 12, 4, where they say they're running to and fro, but knowledge will increase. So we definitely living in the last days on that. Uh, number three, earthquakes and diverse places. Man, earthquakes are everywhere now. You never know when they're going to come. But Jesus said these will be signs that we're living in the last days. So we got to be ready, saints. We got to keep our guard up. We got to be sure that our election is sure. And we got to know that Christ is calling for us. Number five, lovers of money. Wow. First Timothy chapter six and 10 talks about that. For the love of money is the root of all sin. When you love money and it's sinning, that's the root of it. We got to love Christ more than we love anything, anything. So those are the five signs I talked about. I just wanted to share with my uh, listeners today that we are living in the last days. And Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And I'm going to say a quick prayer for everyone that the Lord will keep me ready and you ready. So when his appearing come, we will be ready to go up and meet him in the rapture let's let's pray right now dear heavenly father lord we come into you in the name of jesus father we thank you for this wonderful day that you have touched us lord is there anything in our hearts god take it out cleanse us and wash us in the blood of jesus lord we want to be saved i want to be saved lord save me right now forgive me for my sins lord where i come short strengthen me lord in the name of jesus i pray in jesus name in jesus name we pray Amen. And if you said that prayer and you ask Jesus to come into your heart, you are saved. And God will do some wonderful works in your life. All you have to do is trust him all the time. So remember those five signs we talked about that we're living in the last days and we got to be ready. Natural disasters, rapid increase in knowledge, earthquakes in diverse places. Increase in lawlessness, lovers of money more than lovers of Christ. We need to be alert on these things because it's happening. I have never seen this stuff before, what's going on the earth today. It is amazing what's happening, but we got to be ready for Christ's return. And we got to keep our hearts and our minds on Christ Jesus because he's coming back and he's coming back real soon. Will you be ready? I want to be ready. I plan on being ready in Jesus' name. Hit that thumbs up, thumbs up button. Like and share the video if you like it. It's a great message that we need to hear these things. A lot of people are not talking about this stuff. But man, it is real. Time is winding up. Jesus will return soon. Will you be ready? It's the question you need to ask yourself. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day and God bless you. And see you next time on the Greg Coach Show. God bless you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.